Welcome to Halifax, Nova Scotia, as match week 14 begins just two days after the previous week in the CPL ended. It is time for more clubs to get caught up to Forge and York United in their games played as the Halifax Wanderers host Pacific in one of the CPL's old school coastal clashes. Halifax Wanderers making a slight tweak to their formation today. They are in a 4-3-3 to match Pacific. They make four changes to the team. Kale Lockery is back in, as is the captain. Andre Rampersand with James Merriman with a very short bench today giving some players some rest and some younger players who don't often get the minutes a chance to show what they can do today as always in their 4-3-3 but six changes to the team here is Aiden Daniels as he slips through midfield plays it through for Girardo hands it for Sam just enough from Kieran Basket to deny his former side and tonight Tomas Giraldo's first goal of the season. Aiden Daniels, inch perfect pass as Giraldo's played out by Kunle Dadaly. I like the way Halifax is playing right now. They're moving the ball around well. And the first thought is getting forward. Tidic makes a play to keep the ball alive, but it was Farron who's actually offside. This time he stays on, and Massimo Farron has scored again. The third time into the penalty area, and this time the Wanderers make no mistake. A goal contribution in each of his last three games. Curious how much, if anything, Jan Filion can see here. They try to test him. The sliding Thomas Mayer nearly gets a piece. The most dangerous Pacific have come and look to scoring, and TMG might be offside here as well. Poor now for the keeper when it's this hard to see, and you have Angaros and Mayor Jaguars and Didiches and Youngs ready to tower through the air. Salouf in with his right, and it's oh, a howitzer. A headed howitzer that does not miss the top right corner by much. Exactly what we previewed. Didich on the end of it. Yeah, it's a perfect ball. Nova Scotia boy to the other post. This is fair in the goal score, bouncing off Yates and leaps over the tackle of Mayor Jaguar. Gives it off to Watson. Callum Watson gets it back and fires! Callum Watson has made it 2 0 for the Wanderers! First to greet Watson. He loves scoring goals. And that's a pretty, pretty finish. 2-0 Halifax Shimmy. Yeah, you've got to give credit to Farron here. Just driving forward the ball, taking players on when the opportunity opens up. Lays it off to Watson. Watson drops the shoulder, comes inside, and picks that corner up perfectly. Was cute for Maiden Daniels. Plays it up to himself, and this time he's definitely going to let his foul end. The referee going straight for Yellow. Fernandez did not like that whatsoever. That is directly in front of the Pacific bench. And Armand Salib's been shown a second yellow and has been sent off. Andre Rapperside comes over to try and play Peacemaker. Sean Young being pulled back by Gennaro Daniels and Eric Lajeunesse. So it might have been Sean Young. Rapperside from Daniels. You can tell the literal and figurative caping hole in midfield without Sean Young there. This is Manwe. Pulls the trigger for Pedez. Unable to keep it low or at frame. Can't be surprised at how much Jimmy, with an absent midfielder, we're going left and right and switching it up. Here's Daniels ricochets. Watson trying to follow up. Dadalu clears out for a Halifax corner. 3 0, and it's three points guaranteed. It already feels like it's close to inevitable. Unable to pick the pocket of Salou, who fires! Stunned the supporters, nearly stunned Jan Filion, just couldn't keep it down. He connected well with this. 
uses his body well here. Good feed from Rappersad to find Watson. Corner of the box, outside to Fernandez, lifted oh, just over the head of Fumpa Manwe, who in that moment wishes he was six feet tall instead of 5'10". This is Morelli from Rampersat. What year is it? Morelli onto his left. He's got oh! This place would have went out of its collective mind. He'll let him take that shot. Timoteo aggressively defending La Jeunesse. Saluf is ready. Towards the back post, Dage. Oh, the crossbar! Did he cross the line? Yes! Should count as Amir Dinich's goal. Jan Filion's gonna concede the yellow card to delay a bit of time. Amir Dinich's fourth goal of the season. Scored the first goal and would lose by three goals to nil to Atletico Ottawa. They come home and start to drive. They lose to York United, but they did not give up on the plan, the process. And they're undefeated in Nova Scotia since June the 10th. 2-0 to Valor, 3-1 to Cavalry, 2-1 to Forge, and 2-1 to Pacific.